Water is vital. It transports nutrients and oxygen to our body cells. It facilitates the disposal of waste through perspiration, urine, and feces, and it prevents certain illnesses. Four strategies that we can use to drink more water are, start drinking water as soon as you wake up. Keep water handy and drink at regular intervals throughout the day. Measure a daily supply, then aim at emptying the container. Do not wait to feel thirsty. Thirst says water is long overdue. So drink up. So tell us, Dr. Martin Burrow, in spiritual life, do we have any mountains to climb? And if so, do we need water? The answer is yes to both questions. There is a spiritual mountain. Would you like to know its name? Sure. It's found in Revelation chapter 14, verse 1. It's called Mount Zion. When God finally destroys Satan and cleans up this planet from sin, recreates a new earth, we shall worship him on Mount Zion. And just as we need water to climb our earthly Mount Everest, so we need water to climb the heavenly Mount Zion. Jesus himself said so. Mark 16, 16. He who believes and is baptized shall be saved. So to climb Mount Zion, we need the water of baptism. So tell us, is there someone in scripture who climbed this mountain? In Acts chapter 8, we find the story of the treasurer from Ethiopia. Riding in his chariot, reading the book of Isaiah, Philip came nearby and asked him if he understood what he was reading, and then explained that the lamb in Isaiah represented Jesus, mm -hmm. the lamb of God who died for his sins. And as they drove along the way, there was a body of water, and the treasurer said, stop the chariot. Here is water. Can I be baptized? Philip said, if you believe with all your heart, you can. The treasurer said, yes, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Immediately, he was baptized and went on his way rejoicing. So how did Philip baptize him? Did he sprinkle him? Oh, no. Acts 8, 38 and 39 tells us, and both Philip and the eunuch went down into the water, and he baptized him. When they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught Philip away. So God's method of baptism is immersion, going down and the coming up. And that makes sense because the method must agree with the meaning. So please tell us the meaning. Romans chapter 6 gives us the meaning. It's a twofold meaning. First, it symbolizes the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. Secondly, it symbolizes my death to sin, my burial of my old life, and my resurrection to a new life in Christ Jesus. So if that is so, baptism is not for babies. That's right. The person should be old enough to understand the meaning as well as experience this new change. You are quite right. Let me tell you another story, this time about a woman. She was a successful businesswoman named Lydia. She traded in purple dyes. And as soon as she heard the gospel, she and her household were baptized. Mm. The treasurer from Africa and the businesswoman from Europe are lovely stories. But there's one story even better than that. Yes. That's the story of Jesus. When he was ready to start his ministry, he came to the River Jordan to be baptized by John. The record says the heavens were opened to him and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And the voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. And when you follow Jesus in baptism, that mm -hmm. voice will speak again. 
your heavenly father will say this is my beloved son my beloved daughter i am well pleased now mount zion the story of mount zion could you tell us a little bit more about it mount zion represents the city of god and it's a glorious city walls of jasper streets of gold gates of pearl and do you know what there will still be water <laughs> Revelation 21 1 says, And he showed me a pure river of the water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb. So here's my final thought. If you want to walk with Jesus beside the water then, okay. you need to walk with Jesus inside the water now. Let us pray. Dear Lord, Please enable us to drink more water so that we can conquer Mount Everest of health. And the Father, enable us to experience the water of baptism so we can stand with you on Mount Zion and live with you forever, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thanks for being with us today. Let's please join us again next time when the topic will be addictions are like demons, how to conquer them. <laughs>